David Hay has pulled out of his June 29th scheduled fight against Manuel Char with a hand injury. At the moment, they're just saying the fight is postponed. So I guess they're looking to reschedule it for a different date, depending on how long it takes for David Hay's hand to heal. Um, I haven't seen any details about the severity of the injury just yet. So we don't really have any idea, you know, how long it's going to take. Um, I guess it's possible that if it does take uh, an extremely long time to heal, if it is a really serious injury, that the fight could get cancelled and both fighters could go in different directions. I'm sure Manuel Char don't want that to happen, especially because, you know, fighting David Hay is the next best thing to fight in the Klitschko in terms of getting a payday. So he definitely don't want <laughs> to go, go in a different direction. But again, if it takes too long for uh, the injury to heal, um, other opportunities might present themselves for Manuel Char and he might go in a different direction. Who knows? I doubt it, but we'll just we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. A lot of people were not really interested in seeing David Hay against Manuel Char. Um, me personally, I thought it was an okay fight. Um, you know, a lot of people instantly jumped up and said, oh, Hay will destroy Manuel Char. But David Hay is a cruiserweight, man. He could easily still make cruiserweight now. He only weighs 210 pounds. The cruiserweight limit is 200 pounds. He can easily, you know, drain 10 pounds of water weight overnight easily he's six foot three he can easily do that so he could still make cruiserweight now all right these heavyweights like mambo char these guys are 240 pound men they're natural heavyweights six feet four um there's no safe fight for david hay a heavyweight david hay's been dropped by cruiserweights light heavyweights he don't have the strength the natural strength of a true heavyweight so as much as he's faster than mambo char and he may have better skills than mambo char the fact that he's getting in with these big guys I can never be 100% confident when David Hay is fighting in a heavyweight fight because he is giving away so much natural size and strength. All right, so to me, it's, it's every uh, fight um, against a, a true heavyweight for David Hay is, is a, it's a dangerous fight. You know what I'm saying? It's a dangerous fight. Um, like I say, I'm not saying he can't beat these guys, but they're all dangerous fights. And, I, and, and the same goes for Manuel Char. I think it's dangerous for David Hay, right, against these big heavyweights. The only heavyweights who I'd really pick hay to beat with complete confidence are the smaller heavyweights yeah maybe guys like um thomas adamek i'll be confident in beating um picking hay to beat thomas adamek all right but the bigger guys you know a man will charge 6'4 240 pound plus it's, i think you you may be able to beat man will char but these are all risky fights man you know what i mean so anyway a lot of people will probably hope this fight gets cancelled and he might fight the winner of, I don't know, um, pull over against Fury or take on Ariola or someone else who has a bigger name, I guess. But uh, me personally, I, I didn't necessarily mind the Manuel Char fight. I thought stylistically it could have been interesting, but um, other people disagree. But whatever, uh, we'll see what happens from here on in when more information comes out. So yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this. This is Hatman, I'm out.